Smurf, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but my question is, in my case, uh, when I was a little child, my dad and my mom, they had a, they fought, they fought a lot, and then they divorced. So what happened is my dad, he hit my mom and he hit me, he became very violent, and then they divorced. And I, for personally, I still remember a bit of that. So that's why since the divorce, I did not contact my dad ever. I never contacted him, I never looked at him, I never wanted to meet him, so I cut him off since I was a child. So my question is, what is the ruling on cutting off one of the parents, in this case, the dad, because of childhood trauma, or because he was very violent and he's done something very bad. And I do have to add that a couple of years back, I, we did have a little bit of contact, but then like I didn't like him and I cut it off and then and then I cut it off again and then he didn't look he didn't like try to call me or do something or come to my house so my question is what is the ruling on this and jazakallah khairan sheikh jazana wa iyyakum rayan first of all i appreciate your call and your question secondly yes you are absolutely right in islam we're not allowed to sever our relations with our relatives and the top priority and the most important is appearance they come next in order after the commandment of worshiping Allah alone and not associating with him in worship. The next in order, the parents. Even if one of them was rude, was abusive, was physically harming uh, us, but they still have rights upon us. If they don't want to talk to us, that's a different story. Now we can drop them a message. Happy Eid, Happy Friday, you need any help, may Allah grant you health, can I come over to visit you? I'm not doing this because he was super nice to me, I'm doing this because Allah has commanded me to do so. If Allah has commanded us as Muslims to be good to the parents, even if they were disbelievers, even if they did their best to hinder you from the path of Allah, do not listen them in, to them in this category, but in the rest of worldly activities, they have rights upon you, even if they didn't give you uh, your rights. No doubt the story and the narrative that you've mentioned is horrible. Being physically abusive, beating one's wife, beating the children is very unacceptable in Islam. And this is absolutely terrible. But sometimes people do do uh, being under psychological or psychiatric effect of medication or conditions or whatever, they go out of their minds. They do things maybe they were not aware of. They never intended to do. I am trying to give the benefit of doubt. What about now? He's old, he needs help. He was hospitalized twice. He's poor, he's poor, he's broke. So I chip in, I jump in. And I always put myself in their position. Imagine when I grow old and my child is not even picking up the phone to check on me. That's terrible. That's terrible. So, uh, you do not necessarily have to be in love with him and taking care of him on a daily basis. But never sever your relation with your parents. Barakallahu feekum.